I'm giving it away. No courses, no paywalls, everything absolutely for free. My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And over the past few weeks, we've been talking about Programmer. I've been showing you how to exactly build your own specifications and templates, but now it's time to give you mine. I've curated a custom template specifically for you guys to take away with you today and start using in real world practice. It's perfectly curated for residential developments. Now, enough for me, let's dive into it. If you're joining me for the first time on this programmer series, then you need to go to programmer.design to get started. It's simply programmer.design. Next, you either want to start for free up top or you want to log into your trade portal. Either way, it's completely free to get started with programmer. Once you get serious, obviously there is pricing and subscription models that we can take a look at, but it's not something you need essentially to get going. Once you're logged in, you're gonna to come to a portal that looks like this. We've been talking about these projects throughout the past couple of videos, but today we're talking about my Tomage template. We're talking about what I'm giving away here, absolutely free. Industry knowledge that needs to be passed on. So if we go into our project and then go into our residential addenda, you'll see I've curated a selection of categories. Now this selection of categories isn't what your typical template is based on. It's not tiles and cupboards and bits and bobs. It's curated on how the construction process works. It's designed to specifically aid the builders and the trades throughout their project. So it's in chronological order of what happens on site. Obviously, site works happen first. But what comes next, people don't generally think about. The plumber and the electrician need to know exactly what's going on because they're the first ones on site. They're the ones doing their prelays. And people are often thinking, I'll pick my fixtures, I'll pick my fittings at the very end and I'll put them at the very bottom of my package. Well, that's kind of useless because if your plumber doesn't know how many taps, how many toilets, where the outlets of the toilets are, where the outlets of the bathtubs are, how are they gonna know where to prelay? Similarly, if your electrician doesn't know what the maximum demand is of the property, how are they gonna supply the power properly? So for each of these items, I've added one of my favorite products. For site works, there isn't really much. So I've gone ahead and put a temporary fence panel. That's not a favorite product. It's just something generic as a placeholder. But for our plumbing and for our electrical fittings, I've added two incredible items. One from ABI. And if we click this little link here, it will automatically takes the product. I've added the Elysian Kitchen Mixer in brushed nickel for my first selection in plumbing fixtures. That would then dictate the rest of the selections in this template for me as an example. I'd go ahead and pick all of this series to try to keep it consistent. Now, I've picked this specific product from ABI for a number of reasons. One, it's a beautiful, timeless product. Two, it's incredibly versatile and cost-effective because it's direct to consumer. There's no middleman. So ABI is always gonna have one of the best prices, if not the best price you can find as a residential customer. And I've gone with brushed nickel because it's timeless. Yes, they have a bunch of other colors and you could go for a brushed brass, but I know in a few years, brushed brass will fade out. I don't want my home to fade out. I want it to be timeless. Similarly, we've got our electrical fixtures from Unios. Now, Unios is actually a West Australian Perth-based company that's international. They're incredibly popular around the world and they have some awesome products. Now, absolutely, you could go to your local Bunnings store and pick a $30 downlight and place that into your specifications. But as architects, it's kind of part of our duty of care to document and demonstrate products that are sustainable and economical. The Bunnings downlight, you're gonna replace every couple of years and every couple of years replacement might cost you $300 over a decade. Whereas a Unios light might cost you $180 up front, but the chances are you won't have to replace it in the first decade, which means not only is your pocket gonna thank you, but your trades are gonna thank you because they're not gonna have to go back in the crawl spaces to fix and replace dodgy cheap products. Now, before we go too much further, you'll see this glowing new button. It's called add from URL. And that's exactly how I added every single product in this template today. It's the best new feature from Programmer. And I genuinely say that with passion because for the past five, six years, God knows how long I've been using Programmer, I've gone through, screenshotted, dragged and dropped my images, filled out my product names, my product mixer, my SKUs, dragged and dropped my product URLs and put all of this information in manually. Now, to put this in manually, doesn't matter how quick you are, takes time. You know how long it takes now with this feature? Let's go copy, come across add from URL, paste, add, that's it. We give it about five seconds to load and that's just subject to your internet speed and it's all there for you done perfectly. 
pictures, links, sizing, fittings, even financial data. All I have to do is put in quantities and my trade price if I really want to. That saves so much time and I'm stoked that that's finally a feature. Whosever idea that was a programmer definitely deserves a pay rise. Anyway, let's get back to the template itself. If we scroll past next, we've got an external wall coverings and our roof coverings because once your frames go up or once your bricks go up, then you need to actually clad the home and get it ready for lockup. We don't typically need to specify what wood's going in, what steel's going in, and the structural components. So I've left that element out. In our wall coverings, we would also add things like our vapor barriers, our trims, our fixtures, our fittings. But for now, I've just added three of my favorite cladding selections from James Hardy to New Tech Wood and Master Wall. Depending on what kind of architectural style you're going for, these three can do incredible things. Similarly, with our roof covering and our roof plumbing, we want to talk about our architectural guttering details, our plumbing fixtures, how they're connecting to our rainwater tanks, if we're going stainless steel, PVC downpipes, etc. All of that can be done right here, and all we need to do is just add another product from our URL. If you're curating this with your ArchiCAD model or your Revit model or anything else, then you just go ahead and drag a dot code in. So RS1, for example, would be my roof sheeting one in my ArchiCAD model. So whenever anybody referenced RS1, they could come back in to the programmer addenda and go, okay, RS1 is this specific Mac distinction roof and walling profile from Metroll. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm getting, easy. Once our roof covering's on, our wall covering's on, obviously we need to get this building locked up and away from the weather. Hence why Windows doors and hardware comes next in the schedule. Once again, I put one example of what I would select for a sliding door, which would be the AWS Comfort Edge sliding door series. It's a residential frame that spans quite large, very cost effective, and in a roundabout way, thermally broken, but not technically thermally broken. That's for another video. Continuing to move through, then we move into our internal wall coverings and ceiling coverings. We've got our insulation in the walls, all the pre-wiring's done, everything's ready to go and get sealed up. Then we get into the nitty gritty of the house. We talk about our tiles for our wet areas and our bathrooms. We start talking about our internal doors and our internal hardware, which is completely different from our external doors and hardware. External doors are generally glazed aluminum profiles, whereas internal doors, timber frames, aluminum frames, steel frames, all different sizing, all different products. So we need to specifically break them down, hence why it's its own category. Then we move into our skirtings, our architraves, and our cornices. For me, an aluminum skirting is critical in a nice architectural home. One, it creates an, a shadow line profile in your skirting. Two, you don't have additional bulk out for no reason. And three, when you're vacuuming, you're hitting against an aluminum profile, which is easier to maintain long-term rather than timber or plasterboard, which can easily chip. After that, surprisingly, we move to our appliances. And it's because your cabinet maker for joinery needs to know what your appliances are before they start designing and building their cabinetry. If you go to a cabinet maker and say, I need a whole new kitchen, they're gonna ask you, how big's your oven? How big's your dishwasher? What's the size of your fridge? Because they need to make things fit perfectly. You can't just have a cutout for your oven and hope for the best. I guess you can, but that's not how you do architectural high-end homes. So we always wanna have our appliances perfectly thought out, selected, purchased ideally, before the cabinet maker starts work. Once those cabinets are in, obviously they're covered, they're wrapped, they're sealed. The painters come in and they do their full paint out of the house. I put in Dulux White Dove Quarter because it's a simple, timeless product. And in Australia, Dulux has just got some of the best brand name reputation around. Obviously, so many other selections, but for this template example, that's what I've gone with. Now, your house is painted, it's looking fresh, but your floor coverings are still missing. That's when the floor coverings now comes into this addenda. Most people, again, have all these selections up the top. They're thinking about what's in the house rather than how it actually comes together. The builder doesn't need to see floor coverings until the end of the project. They need to think about them at the start. They need to know what's going in to allow for set downs and variations, but they don't need to be flipping through that page to get to their plumbing fixtures every single day for the first six months until they actually need it towards the end of the job. So floor coverings at the bottom of your schedule, please. And then window treatments. 
Window treatments are the absolute last thing to go in your house. Often, they're not even put into the house until handover and then the client does the window treatments themselves. Until we're talking high-end residential, then obviously everything's done by the builder. Now that everything inside the house is done and the trades aren't bringing tools in and out, parking on the lawn, running over our retic system, we can move on to landscaping. I placed a basic shrub as a primary example, which you would also have to add retic information, grass, mulch, etc. But you don't need that until the end of the job. The landscapers don't come in to the end of the job. If you need to do specific planting selections or trees to try and mature them by the end of the job, well then that's a very custom note. Anyway, you want to tell the builder up front, hey, I need 10 trees here because I want them to grow by the end of the job, protect them. That would then come in to site works and tree protection. However, there's risk involved in that and the chances of them surviving become quite low depending on the size of the job. Last but not least, we have our external other. This is kind of your miscellaneous category where you can throw in anything extra that you need. So for instance, your clotheslines, your rainwater tanks, your sheds, your pumps, your spas, your pools, your water features, anything of that sort, you can add in to external other. Now, if you're wondering how to get this template downloaded ready for you, there's a couple ways. One, you can go ahead and copy what I've done here by just following along. It's probably the way I recommend it because you're gonna learn program at the best. Easy way to get this schedule is actually come down to the bottom left-hand corner, hit need help and wait for the live chat to appear. Once the live chat appears, just simply send the programmer team a message, hit I need help using programmer and then simply type in, can I have the Tomich template please? And they will install it automatically for you on your programmer. You don't have to do anything. Anyway, that is all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the programmer series. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what else you'd like to see from programmer.